We have announced that Wango Tango is June 6th. At Dignity Hill Sports Park. Thank you, Tubbs. Everybody has a part. Everybody's got a role. Uh, we announced that tickets go on sale to Kisco VIPs for 24 hours at 10 this morning, and we've only announced that Harry Styles is going to be there, and Harry's on the line with us this morning. Harry, good morning. Ryan, good morning. How are you? I'm well. I'm very excited that in 127 days, we will be at the same venue, and you yep. will be on stage at our Wango Tango, bro. June 6th. I'm very excited to be uh, to be playing the Wango Tango. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, you're the only artist yeah. that has been announced, and so we're starting the tickets. Uh, they go on sale in just a few hours here. This is you and only you right now because we don't know who else is performing. Well, I'm, so. hoping, I'm hoping some other people will join, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's, it's likely. Several hours. Now, there is... Um, there's a lot of, just to talk about some of your music, and maybe a little preview of what might happen up on stage, there's a lot of melon tossing going on in this new video for Watermelon Sugar. So I, I feel like that really adds the possibilities, some How great you possibilities. Know, Ryan, it's not out yet. How would you possibly know that? Oh, because I'm, in the, I'm on the inside, bro. I'm in Hollywood. Oh, uh, well. I mean, is there anything on TV these days that you don't produce? Really? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything? It isn't Ryan Seacrest Productions. Uh, there's plenty of good stuff on TV, yeah, that's not. Uh, but you did shoot this video recently, didn't you? I did. I did it the other day uh, in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Well, we had spotters uh, out there. It was fun. It was good fun. It's, it's always... Uh, it's not too bad when a work day is running along the beach and stuff. So, it, it, yeah, it was, it was good fun. You know, they, there were people I think that, that that are listening right now that were out in that area that saw you shooting. And I also, Harry, was I was reading something. Um, you were talking about your first solo album, and you said that in this article I read that you were afraid to make fun music. Is that true? Yeah, I think maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, like really, I wasn't kind of very consciously saying I don't want to make fun songs. Um, I think maybe a little subconsciously I was kind of coming out of the band and stuff. I felt like I wanted to try. I don't know. I felt like a little afraid of, of stuff that sounded too fun or sounded too poppy, I think. Uh, and I think that was just me being in my own head. And then um, kind of when it came to the second record, I was like, I just want this to be fun for me and I want to be happy doing it. And I want to be in the studio with songs that make me want to dance and make me want to have fun and stuff like that so it was definitely a big shift in terms of my mindset going towards the second record first one and do you think because of that you, know, you relax a little bit because of that you just you make better music yeah i think so i think anytime you're like really trying to do something or to prove something i think you you tend to, I think anytime you make music that isn't for yourself, you make your not best work. Um, mm -hmm. So I think when you can kind of just have fun with it, because I think that's what it's supposed to be. I, I think when you can just have fun and kind of enjoy the process, not think too much about, you know, when you have to put an album out and finishing everything and just be like, I want to make a really fun song mm -hmm. to listen to today. Uh, I think that's kind of when the best stuff comes out is when you want to try new stuff and just have fun with it. Harry Styles is with us. He's going to be on stage at Wango Tango. Harry, how? what does your closet look like? Is it very organized? Is it what we call a walk-in closet? Because you're, you know, there's a lot of incredible fashion that um, we see you in. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Um, my closet is, uh, or wardrobe, is uh, it's pretty... Um, pretty colorful these days mm -hmm. uh it can be organized um i also lose a lot of things so maybe not that organized <laughs> um just you, traveling like, oh traveling stuff. leaving them behind places okay um you must yeah. be aware that uh you know you, you can set ripples in the fashion world because you were a a necklace there was a pearl necklace that you wore and I checked territories around the world. I oh. did a search, and necklace sales went up after you, of with both this genders. This can't be true. It's a hundred percent <laughs> true. 
And the necklace sales went up because of that. So you must, that must right. go through your mind, you know, because you, you like to push the envelope a little bit. Um, I don't really, I don't, I don't know if I, I really think about it, but I, I think I, I think I traced back where my love of pearl necklaces came from. Recently, I was thinking about why have I been so fascinated with them since I was a child? And I think, I think it's Lisa Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Everybody grew up with yeah. Lisa Simpson. We sure did. Um, wait, Harry, I have I think a. It might be Lisa Simpson. I have a question, and it's two tiered. Yes. One of my favorite songs Hi, on your. By the way. Hi. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite songs from the album is not the very happiest song. It's falling. I cried the okay. first time I heard it. Did you ever feel nervous putting that okay. on the album? And then will you perform it at Wango? Um, did I feel nervous putting on the album? No. Um, I will elaborate. <laughs> um, no, I think, I think for me, like, like I said, when I'm, when I'm writing stuff, I kind of, it's easier to write honestly if you're not thinking about putting it on an album and people hearing it. So I think kind of just writing it as if I was kind of talking to myself. Uh, I really love the song. Um, and it felt like an important moment and kind of, um, you know, is very centered in what a lot of the record is kind of centered in a time that a lot of the record was kind of built around. Um, so I thought it was an important song for the album and I'm really happy with it now. It's my and, favorite. Uh, I think I'm it's a very special. It. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry that you cried. <laughs> well, do you think you'll perform it at Wango Tango so we can all see her cry? <laughs> Um, I can, yeah, sure. I, I pledge. <laughs> I hereby pledge to play falling at Wango Tango. Oh, wow. Let the emotions flow. It's not very. It's not very. It's not a very Wangoy song, and I'm sure it's not a very Tangoy song either. But I'll, no, but it's powerful. I'll, um, it's so powerful and beautiful. Okay. Mm. All right. I'll I'll take a break from the Wangoing. And- Hey man, uh, I gotta tell you, we are very happy that we're gonna see in person, and very happy that this album is with us. And looking forward to it, bro. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for having me. Okay, take care. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye, Bye. Bye. you too. His uh, latest album, Fine Line, and his latest single, Doria, available now. All right, those tickets to see Harry and everyone else, but no one's been named. Coming up at 10. I'm going to play his track next.